we will soon see that uh, this recognizable structure here is an intestine. It looks like uh, it is probably a large intestine because I don't really see true villi. You could see some of these red uh, cells at the base of the crypts uh, with the granules towards the lumen end. So these are paneth cells. Neuroendocrine cells wouldn't be quite so red. And they would, because they're endocrine, they would be releasing their products into the blood on the other end of the nucleus rather than the lumen on the apical end of the nucleus. Here's a lamina propria. And uh, coating this uh, wall, or the, I'm sorry, the mucosa of this uh, bowel. Here's the muscle, here's the serosa, here's a circular, here's a longitudinal. We see red material. And uh, if you look closely, or even if you don't look closely, because you have really good eyes, you can see a lot of these cells have the appearance of what we call squames, or just little uh, flat cells, which is present in mecomium because the baby constantly swallows uh, amniotic fluid. These are squames. These are some uh, inflammatory cells. This is baby poop. Uh, not as uh, that has accumulated in the bowel before the baby's born. Uh, notice that we have another, and if you were to theorize that maybe this is impacted, uh, which is possible uh, because it can be, and when it does, it can cause harm to the bowel, at least in this section here, the mucosa is still intact, and there appears to be no necrosis or ulceration of the uh, bowel wall. However, in this piece of mecomium, which at first looks like it's just a piece of poop, if you go along the edge here, you could see the remnant of a bowel wall. And you could see that there's inflammation within the wall. And you could see that there's destruction of the mucosa. This is a uh, mecomium obstruction, and it's resulting in actual uh, necrosis of the intestinal wall to the point where you really don't see the mucosa anymore, but what you do see instead is the necrotic granular type material that we've seen so often, which is reminiscent of necrotic tissue. But contrast that with the more glassy uh, appearance of mecomium itself. And it's a subtle point of differentiation but this is normal mecomium. This granular stuff is uh, necrotic mucosa. And of course, we could see prominent blood vessels in the submucosa. And because these muscle fibers here appear a little pinker than they should be, this is probably uh, necrosis of some of the smooth muscle of the bowel wall as well. This is uh, mecomium obstruction resulting in uh, intestinal wall necrosis. Thank you very much.